Okay, I just woke up. Um, I'm in Washington D.C. now, or really, I'm like I'm right outside the city. I'm staying in um, in the home of somebody that my cousin knows, and I'm staying in her son's room. Uh, but I think she said that she was gonna make make me and uh, her kids. Bre oh yeah, the son he's out of town, so that's why I'm here. I think she said she's gonna make us breakfast, which sounded great. Um, because I haven't had like a real breakfast in a long time. And then I'm probably gonna try to find a bike shop somewhere in, uh, in DC. And then while they're trying to fix my bike, I'm gonna uh, rent like a city bike and um, ride around town to, like, to uh, see all the stuff I wanna see. Um, I was just, <clears throat> <clears throat> I just left the uh, house where I was staying with the, uh, the family. Um, they gave, they made um, waffles and scrambled eggs, and it was delicious. Uh, so now I'm headed to this bike shop um, in the like in the middle of Washington D.C. It's like maybe like five blocks from the White House. So I'm gonna see if they can help me. I'll probably call them. Um, ahead of time to see if they have the stuff that I need <clears throat> if they don't I'll look up somewhere else I guess but um, fingers crossed that this place have it because I don't know if anybody else will I don't know what just happened but I guess they just moved all the gates and everybody's just in the middle of the street now I just happened to be here at the right time but the police will let us move across. <laughs> so as soon as they open the gates, we're about to uh, walk on the street. All these like street performers just appeared out of nowhere. And there was a guy dressed in all silver. He's like dancing or something. There was this one girl with short purple hair who was uh, screaming Bohemian Rhapsody, like the song. There's a guy that lived like on the street. He had like a tent and everything, and he had like all these signs and everything. Wow, there's some clowns out here. There's some weird people walking around the White House. Super like lake water. It's pretty nasty, but why was that guy the water? This water is nasty. It's starting to rain again. Being in 
Washington DC Memorial Day weekend was uh, probably not the best planning because there are so many people here. I mean, just all the buses of people that have come in. I mean, it is packed down here at the uh, Smithsonian. But, I don't know, I kind of like all the people. I'm getting a uh, time lapse of uh, the Capitol and all the people walking. But I just love the, uh, just be a little bit. I just love the freedom I have right now. Like, I just want to you know, sit down and just relax for a while. Like, I can, you know? If I, if I want to <clears throat> do some stuff that I didn't have planned, I can just go do it. If I want to not do stuff that I did have planned, I can just, you know, it just doesn't matter. Uh, that's the great thing about this trip is I had, a, I had stuff planned, but um, I have a schedule, but it's so easy, and I'm allowing myself to break the schedule if I want to. But... Walking outside the uh, Library of Congress now. Um, probably my favorite stop of uh, the whole trip. It's really cool in there. There's tons of art, just tons of stuff to look at. Um, I think that's basically all I want to do in the city now. I think I'm going to try to find a bike, see if I can get back to my car, which is like so far away. I've just been walking away from my car the whole time. So. around the city but I'm heading back to the car now because my legs are killing me. I was just riding the uh, city bike through uh, Georgetown and that was probably the most fun I've had all day. It's like swerving through cars and everything and <clears throat> I wish I had more time to do that but I wish I had my bike to do that but it's better. still a lot of fun. I'm at the <clears throat> Washington National Cathedral, uh, National Washington Cathedral, something like that. Um, and this church is so big, I had to run or like walk a uh, like a hundred yards away from it just to get it all in the same uh, frame. I still couldn't do it, but I mean this church is gorgeous. It's huge. They had, I was reading this sign over there, it said that they had like an earthquake and the like tips at the top of it like fell off and smashed into the ground. But like the rock was like so sturdy that <clears throat> they didn't shatter. Like the pieces that fell off are still like intact and whatever, whatever they were, but whatever. I was already out of Washington when I realized that I didn't come here totally worth it okay that was my last stop um, if I wanted to do anything else I'd probably go back to Georgetown and uh, like look around at all those shops and everything so that was a really cool part of town but uh, my feet are killing me my back hurts I'm just tired of walking so 
He made a call it a day. <clears throat> I'm on my way out of the city now. Um, Katie just texted me, the, the lady that I'm staying with. She just texted me and said, hey, there's pizza rolls in the uh, freezer. There's all this food, just help yourself. Katie, if you're watching this, you're the best. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. Okay, I'm in bed now. I'm uh, still at the house I stayed at uh, last night. Uh, all I did really was I just came home and I ate a little bit and then I uh, uploaded my uh, footage, my videos to my uh, laptop. And then that's basically it, now I'm here. Like that was all within like an hour. I'm super tired and my back is killing me and my feet hurt. So, hopefully I can get a lot of rest. So